about the film. I mean, I know it's still coming out in a, in a few months in August, I believe. It comes right? out August 3rd. Yeah. It's by Adomni. Uh, it's about two best friends who, um, two unlikely best friends from Los Angeles who get involved in an international espionage conspiracy and end up on the run throughout Europe. And it stars Kate McKinnon. So Kate McKinnon and Mila Kunis. When you were writing this part, uh, the, the script, any idea that they were kind of rumor maybe, or who would you have in mind basically for these roles? Well, I wrote it with my friend Susanna Fogel, and uh, we, we we wrote open. We, we wrote we just wrote the characters first, and then when, um, when Kate was the first person we went to and she expressed interest, we felt it was a that was match, a natural fit. A it seemed like. match for the, the, the script that we wrote. And, and as, as far as Mila, she's been doing a lot of comedy over the last few years with Bad Moms and it's just like she seems to like evolved into that uh, kind of comedic she's got a good deadpan I would call her uh, how, how is she kind of almost playing the the straight character in a sense does she play that as opposed to no, not, uh, fully, Kate, not, or, not fully the straight character yeah. but they're definitely they're definitely their comedy comes from a different place but Mila is you know, Mila has been um, doing comedy for, I mean, for decades at this point, mm -hmm. from that 70s show from Family Guy, sure. so she has a very, very refined sense of comic timing and how to deliver a line and what jokes work. I mean, she's an incredibly experienced comedian, for sure. What, is there anything that inspires you for the script? I, I mean, in general, when, when you're writing scripts, is there anything you kind of try to take from real life uh, experiences? And anything for, for this script, too, that, that kind of maybe stuck in your mind that you wanted yeah, the, to... This script is a very heightened world. And, yeah. You know, the car chases, the explosions, the uh, the being on the run from um, James Bond is yeah. shooting away. That, that did not come from personal experience, but yeah. my um, running partner and I, we throughout we try to put ourselves in situations of what would we what would we do if we were in a car chase? I mean, certainly we would die immediately, but after but assuming we survived, we really tried to think in terms of how we as people would deal with these situations and try to keep those reactions. As as possible. And at the heart, the characters very much share sensibilities, share our voices, share our experiences. So even though the world is not a world that we're experienced with, the characters gave it the uh, what we could hook into as we as we as we told the story. You know, I was wondering when you have someone like Kate McKinnon who's so good at like improv and SNL, how how when you're writing the thing, do you expect improv to happen on set when you know your words kind of being change uh, when the final product comes around. Um, how's that kind of process when when you have such good comedic actors who kind of want to maybe incorporate their own take on it or their own lines on to something you wrote? Well, you know, I worked in sitcoms for years as well, and so I've, I'm, I'm no, and, and worked in improv, so I'm no stranger to that, and it is sort of an expected and welcome part of the process. Kate, specifically, I wouldn't say that she is an improviser, she does like to, she's an, she likes to be prepared. So she likes to have, she likes to write other options for her lines, she likes others to write other options for her lines, she likes, you know, she, she likes to try out different things, but she, she, her process is much more with respect for the written word and preparedness, and she loves to uh, to play in that way. So I don't know that, you know, there were times that we could have a lot of improv, on our film, but there was also a lot of stunt work that everything had to be very, very precise, and so we didn't really have the flexibility. So, you know, so so we had to be able to balance both things. So now, when people see the movie in August, what can they expect going into the movie? Someone that just saw the trailer, like I, I actually did, uh, but what can they expect out of this movie, kind of in a nutshell, to, to get? Um, I think it's funny. I think it is, it, despite its um, despite its premise. I think it's grounded, and I think it really tells a lovely story about friendship, and it's purely entertaining. I mean, I think I think it is a thrilling, fun movie from beginning to end. Okay.